our small midsummer holiday was delightful. Except for the engine warning light and the familiar limping mode. They were back again. The diagnostic tool told that it was most likely the diesel particulate filter sensor. Of course, it's always better to try first yourself if you are able to troubleshoot and repair. But I must be, I must admit that maybe I would have selected to go for a workshop. At least I can help by detaching these clamps. These here. I already detached the other one and we were able to take the hose out of the port and there is this another port that we're gonna detach and this is the sensor this big plastic part we had the new sensor already in place then we found out that we are unable to use the old clamps because we don't have the required special tools these ones so we are detaching the new sensor and placing new clamps in the hoses two of each so total of four new clamps I was lucky that time my partner was with me and he was able to change the DPF sensor at the parking lot of the local car spare parts shop so now the engine has been behaving well fingers crossed anyway it has been quite a rough last three months I listed these uh, repairs we have done regular oil changes the rodent nest in the engine there were some water leaks diesel heaters fuel line the new steering rack and tie rods that was very big repair we did ourselves also some mildew in doorways i made a video about that short circuit in the parking sensors more oil changes filter changes the first engine warning light because of the oxygen sensor and we needed to install a new starter battery transmission oil change is still waiting it is the automatic gearbox oil change with a torque converter so it's not very easy job to do and now we got the second engine warning light because of the DPF sensor it is a total of 13 different maintenance topics in past three months I have to be honest with you it is not great I hope that the summer is going better for you and I thank you for watching these videos. Bye!